All right, welcome back to the Haunted Dollhouse part eight. This one's gonna be with mosses and grasses and final details. Uh, the final details will kind of come, you know, as I'm, as I'm thinking of them, but basically what, what I wanna get to is putting on some mosses that I have. I have this a little pack of um, variety moss, which will be really nice. And I'm gonna put this all along the eaves. So like basically those would be where the gutters are and things get in there and you know sort of grow. And we'll have a nice little veiny or viney bits that come off, um, which will you know lend it to it being a really old abandoned house. We still have all this nice moss that we did up here with the flocking gun. It's held on pretty well. Looks like it's staying, which is nice. That's what we want. Uh, so that's a nice effect. We'll do some of this moss on this part of the roof as well. Um, so I have some different bits here. So I have some longer vine bits that I might add to it. I have um, a real ag baby agave that I might you know, add somewhere. We'll see. Um, and then I went outside and just cut some dead grass that we can actually trim down to more of a scaled up, scaled down size uh, grasses that we can sort of put along here where um, the edges where you know, grasses may have overgrown. So all along this baseline here too, I'll probably add this type of grass, um, which is really bright, but what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll get it on there and we'll just, we'll hit it with some um, acrylic paint just for the finish. And then I have some for the very end of it, uh, is it actually do some uh, paint pens that I'm gonna do some tagging on there. So just some, some graffiti, like somebody just sort of walked by and just tagged it. And it's gonna be sort of nonsensical stuff like you would see on the street. Just somebody just kind of walking by, marker tagging or even uh, using a spray can tag. So that, that's just some ideas I wanna do just to kind of keep it sort of realistic like an abandoned house would be in a, uh, you know, sort of a, um, uh, a, a poor neighborhood, I guess it would be, you know, found or in the country, probably a country, the style house. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna get to it. I'm gonna start getting into the, the mosses, the grass, mossy grass stuff. And I'm just gonna basically just glue it on with super glue. I liked this area here for this one. So I'm just gonna use my super glue. And I think, hopefully I'll get down there to the bottom quickly. There we go. I'll put a, just, a, just a nice bead along that. And this time I hopefully won't glue myself to it. More than likely I will glue myself to it. There we go. And we're off to the races. This stuff's really nice and viney. It's got different hairs and strings in it. And you can be a bit sporadic with it as well. You can always trim all this stuff at the very end. I just want, you know, sort of a natural amount of overgrowth. Like I said, I can just take some scissors, trim away some things as I go if I want. Let it kind of dangle in front of the window. I'm just gonna rip bits. I'll probably just leave it on its side so the glue just stays at the bottom. Just like so. I 
probably going to cut a longer bit for that. Actually, it's nicer when you rip it. It's got a bit of red in it too, which is nice. Nice effect there, really overgrown. Adds character. dangle down that way. Let's tap it down with some glue here. That's kind of interesting, kind of fun. adding to the character of the piece. You can get this stuff at, you know, places that have train sets. Your hobby shops will have it, or you just get it online. It's always nice to go into a shop though. All right, so I don't want to go, you know, on every square inch of it, you know, I want to leave some bits here and there. It just gives it a more natural feel. I'll trim some of this back as we go. I may put one more bit right there. It doesn't need to be on every dot for the whole thing. 
If you look at real eaves that are overgrown, they probably wouldn't have all that. And this without gluing myself to it. Great. Let some pieces hang out. Great, I love it. <clears throat> All right. Um, so now I'll take some of this, any of this scrappy stuff. I might have actually just taken, use a bit of the quick grip um, spray glue. Any contact spray glue will work. I'm gonna spray it on the uh, this lower roof bit here and just put some Is it ready yet? I don't think it's ready yet. Almost. So I'll just take little bits and put it on the roof tiles. There we go. It's not as, as strong, this glue, but it'll, it'll stick to this surface. sort of roof, lower roof. Doesn't have all this flocking on it. It's a little bit different down here. Just needed to sort of tack off. It's trying to do. There, looking cool. All right, I'm gonna take some of this, this grass here. Take some of the bigger stuff out. And I'm gonna bunch it up. Cut one end of it off. And this will have the grass sort of grown along this edge of the house. I'll spray it on both the house and the grass. See how well that stays. There'll be a few pieces that's gonna fall out over time. <clears throat> and I'll trim some of this. So I'll have a big mess later. Probably less the amount getting closer to the inside of the roof or the um, the porch area here. I 
We want it overgrown. We want it to look abandoned, as rough as possible. Overgrown, neglected. Carefully use a brush. Just tap it against the, the wall. Bring that around. Kind of see what I'm doing there now towards the camera. Mush this up like so. Some of it's going to fall out, but I want to get a majority of that hanging on with that glue, that spray glue. <clears throat> Oop, that came off. All right, spin it around. I think I'll leave that area alone there. What else do we have here? Some other stuff. Another plant. What's this one? I don't know if that's gonna be appropriate for it. I like this stuff a lot, but what I am gonna do is spray this bottom. Bit of spray glue. This is gonna get messy. I know it's very bright green, but I'll, I'll paint this back. I just wanna have it sort of broken up so that if I put it against a diorama, It'll, um, we can blend it a little bit easier with some grasses and things. Spray glue. <clears throat> Mossy overgrown. Keep going. Spooky!
Mm. So much spare left over, you can just smash it in there. It's sticking to my fingers now, but. Can the camera see now? Or... Mm -hmm. Come on now. There we go. It's just sticking right to it. Trying to cover that edge, break it up, keeping it really random. Helps it blend into the, the table, whatever you're gonna sort of put it on. And gives it a, a very weedy sort of edge. But like I said, it's a bit bright, this green, so we'll, we'll knock it back a bit with some blacks. I like all this. However, it's dragging around a bit, so I'll trim it back. It's like being a florist for a, the Adams family. I'll step back a little bit and have a look. Yeah, just a bit of overgrowth, which is nice. Just keep pushing and manipulating it in. This keeps grabbing. Let me get this out of the way. Save that guy. All right. Let's take this brush. Try to press it in too, so I don't get my fingers caught in it. All right. We have a mossy overgrown house. Okay, now I've got the moss all around it. I've put a little paint on it right now. It's a little bit wet, but I'm gonna go back over one more pass just to knock out that harsh green. Uh, I've airbrushed a little bit of black into it, but we'll let it dry. And then we will actually um, get close to finishing this, but before we do that, I'm gonna do just some fun little tags on it. I did a test piece on the interior floor. Um, I just wrote some just nonsense, really, you know, like hello and terror and whatever. I, and I can, you can write basically anything you want. Just, you know, it could, you know, be related to like it being zombies in there. Um, you can say, do not enter. You can say all sorts of things. I think I might just keep it really generic and then just do like little sort of tags right here. And so I've got this paint pen and you need to shake them up. And I think these are by, yeah, the 
uni paint pens. And that one's ready to go. And they're really strong, so they'll definitely show up. So I'm just gonna do like little tags here. I'll probably write like, like a marker tag. It's like somebody walked by and just did a marker tag on it. I gotta kind of shake this up. I'm writing a couple little tags. A lot of times taggers will repeat their, their tag a few times on an area. Um, I'll write something like just seven four or something on there, just some the year of exorcist, things like that. Just real, just nonsense really on here. Um, like I said, you could put some ominous thing here like do not enter, zombies inside or dead inside, whatever. You can do whatever you want. But <clears throat> I'm just gonna keep it really generic and almost, you know, sort of realistic in a way. So I wanna write, hello. and sprays, maybe let it drip a bit too, like it's a spray. You could take a little airbrush and do all this. Could be a bit tedious. Uh, what, else? What, what else is a good thing to say in here? Some initials. Stuff like that, you know, like someone just coming up and just tagging things. This paint marker doesn't want to behave. Things like that, just initials, little tags, little little marks on it. Just gives it a, you know, a real, real flair, you know? I could do this all day, you know, but you want to, you know, it's just a, the appropriate amount of sort of tags and things to write. I could probably get a, a third marker with some color on it, you know. I don't know, though. I just, just want to keep it sort of, it's just sort of simple. Um, what other words can I write? You know, I can write, um, I tend to like more initials, really. T. 
THD haunted dollhouse. Some cross throughs. Just weird sort of things to write. Little symbols you can do, you know. Pentagrams. That might just be enough. I don't think I really want to overdo it. Yeah, so the last bit really is just sort of tie this all together with a little bit of, with a little bit of paint. Uh, I got some brown and some, a light brown here. I just want, like I said, just sort of knock some of this green out. I don't mind the green, I just think it's just a little bit heavy. So I'll just brown all that out. Off, but that's okay. And I think, yeah, I think we're there. I think we have a real good haunted, abandoned dollhouse now. The haunted dollhouse. So, yeah, I think the next thing would be, you know, to put it in, you know, to a setting. You know, maybe put it in the woods and then um, photograph it with some smoke effect or something like that. So that's the exterior. We still want to get into the interior. So the next, you know, the next bit of films will we'll actually get inside and talk about how we're going to build each room. We'll do like a kill room. We'll do a real creepy, disgusting room, perhaps. I don't know. We'll come up with some ideas for the interior. So that's, uh, that's probably next up. So yeah. So thanks for watching the Haunted Dollhouse. Um, it's been you know, a real fun adventure with this one. I've learned a lot. Um, I've seen a lot of cool stuff on uh, Instagram, other people doing um, similar stuff. But, um, but this one's definitely um, you know, different, being a Hannah Montana store-bought thing found at the tip shop. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the interior stuff and some other little effects that we're going to do with it.